Um, there are two areas in every human being they seek their comfort in. One area is called time, the other area called place. There are two areas where every human being tries to seek their own comfort in, either in, the, in, the, in, the, in time or in place. What is time? My life on earth. My life on earth is five stages. Childhood, youthhood, maturity, old age, and then there is another one, 80 plus. With all love and respect to our grandparents. They're so cute. Mom and dad don't give us whatever we want. Grandpa and grandma, so cute, so kind. So that's why I have overridden mom and dad and I go straight to grandma and grandpa. Papa, can I have a chocolate? Yes, my child. Ma, Nana, can I have Coca-Cola? Mama is gonna kill me, don't tell mama, please. But you, grandma, you're so, la, bellissimo. And in the place we seek our comfort, what is the place? I wish I, I was a doctor. When I'm a doctor, I'll be comfortable. I wish I was a teacher. When I'm a teacher, I'm, I'm comfortable. This is places. I wish I was a bishop. When I become a bishop, I'll be the most comfortable person ever. I wish I was the Pope. I wish I was rich. I wish I was this, I was that. I wish I was married. Ask those who are married, they will tell you about it, how comfortable they are. <laughs> Shish kebab coming up. <laughs> this is the place, the time, childhood, youthhood, maturity, old age, and then 80 plus. When you look at a little kid at home, a little girl, she will always run to put her mommy's shoes on. Have you noticed that? Have you noticed that? Now you may say, well, she is a little kid. That's all she knows. No, she is smarter than me and you. She knows exactly what she's doing. Psychologically, if you were to ask this little kid, why are you putting mommy's shoes on? If she was able to answer you with clarity, she would have said the following. This is psychological. She's not doing it at a fluke. She is doing it intentionally. You know why? Because this little kid looked at herself. She said, I'm looking for my comfort in my childhood. I cannot find it. So she thought with her little beautiful intellect, she said, you know what? Maybe when I become mom, like mom, I'll be comfortable. So because we are so, so patient not, I want to be comfortable now. I want to be rich now. I can't wait another 20 years to be like mom because I can't find comfort in my childhood. Maybe I will find it when I become a mom like mom. So since she can't wait another 20, 25 years, so she decided with her beautiful intellect, let me put on my mom's shoes because when I wear mom's shoes, I am mom. That's why she does it. So she goes and runs. This is a shortcut. I am mom now, not 25 years later. She puts on mommy's shoes. She walks and thank God for mommy. Her shoes are a skyscraper. She is walking like that. They're too big, too tall for her. And then she stumbles and falls. The whole family are laughing and are clapping. And this little girl is over the moon. She is flying on cloud nine as if the whole world is being given to her. She just said to herself right there and then, look, finally, I found my comfort because I am mom. Time goes by. Year after year, this little girl becomes a mature young woman. She gets married and eventually 
she becomes literally mum. And when she becomes mum, she looks back at her childhood stage. She says, I wish I was that little girl once again. I thought when I become mum, I'll be comfortable. I didn't realize I am in more trouble than ever before. On one hand, my big baby called the husband. And on the other hand, my little babies who are grown-ups, they look like exactly their dad, good for nothing. <laughs> I wish I was him. I'm just kidding, okay? Please don't smack me. Um, I wish I was that little girl. I thought I'll be comfortable when I'm mom. I thought I'll be comfortable when I'm a bishop. I thought I'll be comfortable when I'm a doctor, a professor, rich man, uh, some celebrity. I thought, but it was all wishful thinking. 